Good morning children, Sai Ram. Welcome to part 2 of our revision lecture of Geography Chapter 2 that is Inside Our Earth. Children, in the last session, we learned about Earth, interior of the Earth. We learned that the interior of the Earth is made up of three layers, crust, mantle and core right then we also saw the, diff the layers through a diagram now in today's session we are going to learn more about rocks and minerals we are going to learn about different or we are going to rather revise on different types of rocks we are also going to revise the rock cycle which we have already covered in the explanation part but in today's session, we will be doing a revision on it. Children, now when we talk about rock, what exactly do you understand by it? What, do you, what is rock? Children, the earth's crust, it is made up of various types of rocks and minerals, right? So, what is rocks? Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called a rock. So, what is a rock? A rock is a mass of mineral matter which makes up the earth's crust. There are different types of rocks okay, and they all differ in uh, color, size and texture. Rocks are very useful to us. right? The hard rocks are used for making roads, houses, buildings. We all know about this, isn't it children? Now, let us see what are, what are the different types of rocks. There are majorly three types of rocks. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Now, let us move on to the first one that is igneous rocks. So, the three different kinds or types of rocks are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks that we have already discussed. So, now we are going to start with igneous rock as told earlier. So, how are they formed? They are formed when the molten magma cools and becomes solid. Igneous rocks are also known as primary rocks. Now children, there are, there are two types of igneous rocks. Now let us see what are those. So children, the two different types of igneous rocks are intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks. Now what is an intrusive rock? An intrusive igneous rock, it is formed when the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust. For example, granite. Now children, since they cool down slowly, they form large grains and hence granite. Grinding stones used to prepare paste, powder of spices and grains, they are all made up of granite. So, what is the use of granite? Granite is a stone that is used to prepare, uh, you know, it is used to make powder of spices or grains. Uh, granite platforms are also used nowadays in the kitchen, in the modular kitchen, right children? Yes. Now, let us understand what are extrusive igneous rocks. How are they formed? An extrusive igneous rock is formed when the molten magma coming from the interior of the earth on its surface rapidly cools down and becomes solid. They have a very fine grained structure that is called as basalt. The Deccan Plateau is an example of basalt rocks. Children, do you know that the word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis which means fire. 
now let us move on to the next one before that this is a picture of igneous rock now let us move on to the next one that is sedimentary rocks till then when the rocks roll down when they crack and hit each other they are broken into small fragments these smaller particles are called sediments now these sediments they are transported and deposited by wind water etc these loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks children these types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks so what are sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks are those rocks which roll down crack and hit each other and are broken into small fragments now these small fragments they are called sediments and these sediments are transported and deposited by wind water etc and these loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks these types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks right children now let us take examples of or let us let us understand what are the examples of sedimentary rocks okay the sandstone okay is a rock which is an example of sedimentary rock now it is made from the grains of sand these rocks may also contain fossils of plants animals and other microorganisms that once lived in them now what are fossils children fossils are the remains of dead plants or animals they are trapped basically in the layer of rocks and are called fossils children let us see the picture of sedimentary rocks this is how it looks like now we move on to the next rock that is metamorphic rock okay let us understand how these rocks are formed before that children igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks they can change into metamorphic rocks under a great heat and pressure okay how are so basically how are these rocks formed they are formed due to great heat and pressure on which rocks on igneous and sedimentary rocks right now let us take example of this clay changes into slate and limestone into marble so this is these are the examples of metamorphic rock now let us see the picture of metamorphic rock see children this is a picture of metamorphic rock this is how it looks like right yes now children let us understand the uses of rocks and minerals right children rocks are very useful to us isn't it we have already seen or already spoken about it like what are they used in we all know that they are used to build houses buildings etc the hard rocks are used for making roads houses and buildings now children stones or small pebbles they are also used in many games such as uh, seven stones that is pitu or hopscotch that is uh, stapu or five stones that is gitti okay now apart from this they are used as fertilizers they are also used in making tools and weapons now tools and weapons which were used in ancient times 
so the rocks were used to make tools and weapons in ancient times right they were also used as sources of power in the earlier times or in the ancient times how two stones were rubbed against each other to create fire right and the rocks and minerals the sediments of rocks and minerals or the small fragments or particles of rocks are also used as soil right children children now let us understand what are minerals minerals are naturally occurring substances with certain properties certain physical properties and they also have a definite chemical composition minerals are used in industries like iron aluminum gold uranium etc okay now these minerals they are used in industries in medicine in fertilizers and in fuels like coal natural gas and petroleum now what is rock cycle children when one type of rock changes to another type under certain conditions that too in a cyclic manner this process of transformation of rocks from one to another is called rock cycle okay now let us understand the process of transformation in rock cycle when the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rock when igneous rocks are broken down into small particles that are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and the sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks and the metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma this again cools down and solidifies into igneous rocks now let us understand this children with the help of a picture okay so look at this picture children it shows how the complete rock cycle works now let us take a gist of it once again first the molten magma cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks right even igneous rocks are broken down into small particles they are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and the sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and a lot of pressure they change into metamorphic rocks and when the metamorphic rocks are still under heat and pressure they melt down to again form a molten magma and this again cools down and solidifies to form igneous rocks and the cycle keeps on continuing so this was about rock cycle now is the time for your favorite session yes children it is time for the quiz now children you have to identify if the sentences are true or false first one rocks are used in medicine what do you think children what is the answer is it true or is it false children the answer to this is true next one granite is an example of sedimentary rocks is it children is granite an example of sedimentary rock the answer is false next one sandstone is made from the grains of silicon what do you think children is it true is sandstone made from the grains of silicon the answer is 
falls again and the last one basalt is metamorphic rock is it true children do you feel basalt is metamorphic rock so children the answer to this is false with this i end this session rather this revision session of geography lesson number 2 part 2 see you in the next video till then goodbye and keep learning